in my opinion, the natural light is, is the driving force for this gallery, which makes this gallery unique in the museum. I chose the windows as a major point since this is the first time that they've been open in over a decade in this gallery, that the light that the windows would cast into this gallery would be a primary focus. So I chose to put the three-dimensional objects in the window so that as you walk around them, you're sort of getting the natural light that's cast upon them. So the objects sort of go from the lightest part of the room, which I imagine to be at the windows, to the darkest part of the room, the furthest from the windows. So the darker objects are sort of towards the back. And the lightest objects, or the most affected by the light, were the closest. The gold olive wreath. I wanted to highlight the sparkliness of beautiful gold. <laughs> and so that is, is located where I think that the sun will hit it. So you can get the best effect out of it. You know, that's literally affected by the light. Next to it is uh, Georgia O'Keeffe's skunk cabbage, which is not necessarily literally about light, but the lighter colors in the painting are more of a representation of the heat, the internal drive of life to get this small little plant up out of the snow. Louise Nevelson's Tower of Blackness is furthest from the window because it is almost like a pit of black. It just sort of like absorbs as much light as possible. From this side of the room, it just looks like a shadow. So I decided that furthest away from the light was the best place to, to really accentuate that. I put the head of a devotee and St. John the Baptist together in order to show that in addition to actual physical light, there is enlightenment so they're paired together because they're both seeking enlightenment. I was surprised by the collection of objects that were chosen for this gallery. They seemed to span from the ibis being an antiquity to painting which was painted in the 1960s. There seems to be a little a taste of everything in the museum in this gallery, and that was rather exciting. It was amazing to see the pieces just sort of brought into the room. <laughs> Here are these priceless objects and usually you just see them hanging. Oh my goodness, I don't know anything about art. <laughs> but I thought it would be an adventure, something how many people actually get to experience like going into a museum and deciding where things are and being able to see things very close and make choices that, you know, museum curators get to make wonderful opportunity for a layperson to do and I was glad that the museum chose me. Now when I go into a museum it's almost like I want to rearrange what another curator has done and sort of set it up the way that I would like to see it. I'm able to cue into the idea that the curator has created in, in the installation of the objects.